Daniel Tzemach at the Sheba Medical Center here in Israel. Daniel, you've been at the new ward of the Sheba Medical Center. Bring us up to speed on the latest plans to cope with the corona patients in the country. Yeah, Benina, well, this is one of many different projects we've seen popping up throughout the country here. As you said, in the Sheba Medical Center, we're actually standing in what in a couple hours may even start looking like an actual hospital. Of course, right now, as you can make it out behind me, it doesn't necessarily look like a hospital. It looks like a parking lot. But very soon, this parking lot will be transformed into a medical facility. It will provide care. It will provide all the treatment that coronavirus patients will need. There will be some 43 hospital beds, which you can see there, which will tend to those uh, at, at least 43 patients. It's possible they could uh, indeed bring in more and more people. And this is one of a few different sort of centers even that Sheba Medical uh, Hospital has in order to deal with the ongoing crisis. Just yesterday, Benita, I think it's important to mention that six of the patients that were being treated in the hospital have since been released and are sent home, which means that they recovered. Now, let's take a listen to what the, uh, the individual responsible for caring for those patients that will soon be in this center had to say to us a little while ago. We prepare this place for the future. We don't know when the patients will come. Till now, we have place for all the patients in Israel with coronavirus. Uh, but most of them are mild, mildly symptomatic, if symptomatic at all. Uh, we prepare for Italy. Uh, but we want to be, as I said before, we want to be Singapore. Indeed, Benita, and as you heard there, uh, Mayan Chaim saying that he wants to be Singapore, and they're preparing for a worst-case scenario. This facility actually functioned before. It had the infrastructure, electricity, and ventilation that it needed to be a hospital because it was built for cases of war, for emergency scenarios. And this, in every sense of the word, as I spoke to uh, Mayan Chaim earlier, this is an emergency scenario that they're prepared to deal with. Now, very briefly, Daniel, we also know there are more than 2,000 500 medical health professionals in the country who are currently in quarantine. Talk us through the concerns around doctors, nurses and paramedics being infected briefly. Yeah, definitely a lot of concerns there. They've started to use different measures, such as cyber uh, measures and learning and being able to evaluate patients through technology that are also being developed here in this hospital in the coming hours. We'll have more information on some of the technologies and applications that doctors are using to be able to inspect patients remotely so as not to contract the coronavirus. Benita? Thank you so much.